Hello, and this is another Man the Capstan Exhibit Insight. And we'll be looking at the hats of the Man the Capstan crew. This is one example of the kind of hats that we wear. This is worn by the 2nd Royal Navy uniform. And uh, formally, these were and are called chapeau de bras. I believe that's singular. It's a French word, of course. Uh, these types of hats originated in Paris and uh, were worn by many navies across the globe and are in fact worn by many organizations today some of them Masonic and some of them Templar and this particular hat would have been worn in the early 19th century as the fashion for the chapeau de bras would have migrated to London from Paris and uh, the Navy I believe were the first to start using these as of course they were more mobile on the water the actual word chapeau de bras means hat of the arm, uh, which literally means that this hat is supposed to be foldable and collapsible so you can tuck it right under your arm when you're not wearing it, uh, which was found to be quite popular. It replaced the old tricorn method of wearing a hat for the Navy, as this hat is worn fore and aft. So this here would be at the front, and we have the back here as well. Now we ordered these hats from Hat Crafters, which is a fantastic company in the States, that's hatcrafters.com. They uh, have a lovely assortment of hats of all eras and all styles and all shapes. And I wonder if I can get you a, uh, there we go. Right in there, Hat Crafters. That's the item number if you're interested. Uh, these hats are really quite splendidly done. Now, um, when we ordered them, they were bare. It's a, just a wool felt, black wool felt hat. It didn't have any trimming, no extras on it. And we added the, uh, the gold trim that comes around the hat. We added the bullion at the peaks. And we added the rosette and the button. We'll get a close up of both here. Now these buttons, you'll rem uh, recognize them. They're the um, Chief Petty Officer Royal Navy buttons that we acquired online. They're authentic. They're actually used by uh, a Royal, Royal Navy service member. And there's the crown there. That's a king's crown atop the fouled anchor of the Navy. And there's our bias and stand trim. That's half inch. It's just been doubled up. And there's our cockade, our rosette. And that's our fan right there on the top. All handmade by our tailor. These cockades are, are wonderful. Now the uh, fringe on the peaks is actually real bullion fringe that was acquired online as well. A lovely addition and uh, perhaps one of the more expensive additions to man the cap stand but you know one of the more important ones too. Uh, you certainly can't have a uniform without the headdress. It's a part of the uniform. It's, it's a very symbolic part of the uniform as well and there are certain regulations that determine when you would wear it and when you wouldn't and when you'd tip it and when you'd raise it and uh, we've done the research on that to try to emulate it as best as we can. We have the Royal Marine one upstairs. I won't uh, show you that one though because it's very similar to this one, save the lace. It's, uh, the lace is a silver gilt wire lace. But that's it for now. Until another update. From Man the Capstan. Call all hands to Man the Capstan. See the cable run down clear.